Lamborghini Millennials winner. Let's smell. Welcome back to Stop and Smell. Like always, thank you for watching, liking, and commenting. I really appreciate all your support. We're focusing on the house of Lamborghini. On a previous video, I already brought you Lamborghini Millennials and Lamborghini Millennials Dynamico. Now there's a third one, Lamborghini Millennials Winner. I could not find any information on this fragrance anywhere. Not on the Lamborghini website, not even on Fragrantica, nowhere. And then I came across it at Saks off of Fifth. It's selling in a three pack for $24.99 and it's three bottles, 1.3 ounce, 40 mils each. And it includes Winner, the original Millennials, and Dynamico. If you saw my previous Lamborghini video, you already know how I feel about these two. And this one specifically, a hidden gem. This one's more aquatic, fresh, fruity. This one's more earthy, spicy, smoky. Now, how will I feel about winner. On that previous Lamborghini video where I reviewed both of those fragrances, a viewer, Quentin Johnson, said, there's a third one called Lamborghini Millennials Winner. Can't find any info on it anywhere. I agree with you. I can't find any info anywhere either. I asked him how it's working out for him and he replied, starts off citrusy and the dry down smells like a woman's deodorant. Longevity's moderate. I like it. Quentin Johnson, thanks again for your feedback and now I'm going to find out myself what I think of it. Let's smell. I'm not getting a strong alcohol blast, which is good. Always a good sign when you don't smell that rubbing alcohol on an initial blast. At this point, I would say let's take a look at the notes, but there are no notes that I'm aware of. No top, no mid, no bass. So I'm just going to tell you what I detect, what I smell, what I think of it. The opening is citrusy. It's either something like a mandarin or bergamot. It's light. It's not like a burst of citrusy. It's not juicy. It's not bitter. It's just a citrusy opening. The reason that the citrus is not as pronounced is because there's a spiciness to it. There's either something like a cinnamon or a nutmeg. There's definitely something warming up that opening because it's a fresh citrusy with a warm spice or even a paprika. It is like a very warm spice. This opening is reminding me almost like Davidoff's Hot Water. If you smelled that one before where it's fresh yet warm and spicy, it's not a clone. It's just in that vibe. It has something similar to that effect. Into the mid, I detect florals very present. There could be traces of a rose, clean iris, not a lipsticky iris, not like a Dior Homme iris. If it was there, probably more like a cleaner Prada iris, maybe traces of a little lavender. Into the dry down, it definitely becomes powdery. There could be some musk as well, even some tonka bean, maybe even some light woodsy notes. Nothing too heavy. It's a very light woody sensation. In fact, it's more powdery and more musky in the dry down with a slight sweetness. This seems like a very light, clean, powdery, musky fragrance. This is a unisex fragrance. It's not leaning too masculine. It's not leaning too feminine. It's right in the middle. Either one could wear it. This powdery dry down is reminding me something like a Burberry Touch or even like a Burberry Brit. I'm not saying it smells identical like those, but it's something to compare it to. It's similar. It's in that vein. Overall, I think it's borrowing those elements from the fragrances I noted, the Davidoff, Hot Water, Burberry Touch, Burberry Brit. If you like those fragrances, I think you will enjoy Millennials Winter. Perhaps that powdery dry down is what Quentin referred to as a woman's deodorant. Overall, I would summarize this fragrance as powdery, musky, floral, and very clean, very light. It seems airy. The longevity for this fragrance on my skin is from low to moderate. It projects a little bit maybe in the first 15 to 20 minutes, 
but then it dies down because it becomes more of a light scent. It's pleasant. It's okay. I don't think this is the best one from the three. I think the first one, the Millennials original, in my opinion, is the best one. That one is the most unique. If you like lighter, powdery, clean, musky fragrances, then this is definitely for you. Like I said before, this is unisex. Both men and women could wear it all ages. This is definitely more of a casual fragrance. Where the original Millennials is more fall, winter, and Millennials Dynamico is more spring, summer, Millennials Winter is probably more for those casual occasions. For some, it may be too powdery in the summer or not strong enough for the winter, so this one probably leans more spring and fall. But if you're looking for something that's inexpensive, is clean, musky, and powdery, then this might be a good bet for you. Like I said before, the three bottle set is selling for $24.99. I could easily see these popping up at rack stores, maybe for the three bottle set for $19.99. Overall, it's a pleasant fragrance. I think this has its place. If you enjoyed the previous two, I think you might like the third one. I would honestly have to give it more wear to see how I really feel about it, but initial impressions, I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's great. I think it's just okay. As of now, the original Millennials impressed me more because it's so unique and it's so unexpected for the quality for the price. And Dynamico is a good, fresh, aquatic, fruity fragrance too. In conclusion, the original Millennials was more smoky, earthy. Millennials Dynamico is more aquatic, fresh, and fruity. And Millennials Winter is a bit more powdery, musky, floral, yet very clean. Have you tried Millennials Winter? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments if you like any of these Lamborghini fragrances or maybe you dislike them, what are some of your favorite car manufacturer fragrances? Thanks again for joining me. Until next time, enjoy your fragrances.